It has been said that if you wish to see far ahead in time, you must first look far back to find lessons from the past. The archiving of documents from the past and the present is an important source for architecture and design. It captures the passing of time. It is a testament to the evolution of the discipline. The following masterclasses record the individual processes of professionals and their ways of working. Good morning. I am Esther Cruces Blanco. I am PH doctor and I belong to the official body of the Spanish state of archives. And nowadays, I am the director of the General Archives of Indies, it is to say, Archivo General de Indias. After being the director during many years of several public archives and other institutions of the historical heritage, I really appreciate Sir Norman Foster and the foundation that allowed me to participate in this masterclass to speak about archives and in particular in relation of Archivo General de Indias. As Norman Foster suggests in the presentation of these masterclasses, the importance of records is based in their value for the past and the present and because they catch the time. It is in this way the records that are kept in Archivo General de Indias bring to the present history and the memory of the of three continents, Europe, Asia, and America. Certainly, archives, all the archives of any type and class, public or private, safeguard and preserve records, and therefore, a lot of information. And as a result of this basic premise, today, today exists, for example, Archivo General de Indias. From here, from these purposes, general purposes, I have to start with these two words, custody and conservation. Custody uh, in connection with the secrecy, with caution, with the need of safe word, the records and information. Conservation with the first st step of the preservation related with all those practices and methods that should be implemented to ensure the survival of records, always made with fragile holders. Both notions, custody and conservation, are very well known and used in archives even before the concept of historical heritage, historical documentary heritage appear. For these reasons, the buildings for archives and their locations always has been designed for the custody and the conservation. And the building that hosts Archivo General de Indias could be a good example. Archivo General de Indias keeps the records that were essential to exercise of the power of the Hispanic monarchy since the, year, the end of the 15th century to the early years of the 20th century. To carry out with the administration and governance of the American and Asia territories and the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans, the Philippines Islands, and even the con connections with China. It is to say, records to rule a vast geographical area, the largest never before governed only by a king. Since, Man since Madrid, to other important cities as Mexico, Lima, La Habana, Manila. Records were the nexus of union of all these huge distances. The information flowed 
with a regularly and with a perfect system of communication during several centuries. Thousands of records. Every year, they, we wear the umbilical cord not only for the official bodies of the crown, but also for the people of, this, of those both sides of the Atlantic Ocean. Through a clever administration and an efficient postal system. We have not forget that the records that nowadays we know that are kept here in Archivo General de Indias, but also in other Spanish archives, as well as in other Ibero-American archives, all these records were basic tools for the exercise of power. Records for the exercise of power and for the communication between people were the vehicle for um, transmitting administrative, political, judicial, and military information. But also the written and draw documents were the way to provide new knowledge, experiences, utilities, and technology. We have to remember that since 1503, the House of Trade, La Casa de la Contratación, has a senior officer in charge of the development of maps and all the understanding about the geographical knowledge. Inside this information technology, it has been included the massive production of records written as a graphic about the design of cities, the raising of buildings, the construction of fortress, the maintenance of mine, mines, sugar mills, shipyards, railways in the 18th, 19th century, and the transformation of landscape, for example. Some records that I'm going to show you, for example, the Tratado de Tordesillas. We have here the, the Portuguese record, and in Portugal is the Spanish, the Castilian record. And I, I said before that there are a lot of uh, maps and drawings because any new city, any new emplacement, any new building has to be approved by the official bodies in Spain. For example, this is the map to, to, to bring out a new city, that is the city of Quito. And fortress and all the uh, fortification systems, like this one, that is the fortress of the island of Margarita. But I have to um, underline that all these drawings are uh, not uh, alone, they have to be uh, linked with records that are written, that have to be approved uh, in that uh, magnific magnificent information system and administration. Keeps nearly more than 80 kilometers, eight kilometers, sorry, of records that are essential for any knowledge and research about America. I insist, since the north of America to the south of this continent, even the, the history of the United States of America nowadays. I am not allowed, neither I want to forget that this master class is given under the frame work of the Norman Foster Foundation with close links with the architecture and with a significant art archive. Thereby, I will broadly speaking about the, the building that where the Archi Archivo General de Indias is set. The archives is located nowadays in two buildings. The principal is the Casa Lonja de los Mercaderes, the boards of trade 
of the Sevillian merchants, the exchange. And the second was the building for the tax collection of the Sevillian cathedral. Nevertheless, I am going to speak about the Lonja, the main building where I am now at the direction office. Why is a magnificent building? Because the architect was Juan de Herrera. The site for, for the Lonja, this building where I am now, was pointed, probably ch chosen by the King Philip II and the architect, his architect, the royal architect, Juan de Herrera, who developed the project. The magnificent of the building, it is not only because it's large scale, it is also because the conception of it, its structure and the construction materials are marvels. One of the purposes of the building was, it is nowadays, to be a symbol, to show the power, the civil power, the force of the crown, the force of the merchants, the trade with America. The building had to exhibit this authority among other important institutions that are beside us, like the, the Cathedral of Sevilla. La Lonja, the site of Archivo General de Indias, is one of the best expressions of the Spanish Renaissance architecture. Finally, my experience day a day as a director of Archivo General de Indias, my long standing as an archivist, my knowledge about the necessary alliance between architecture and archives allow me to say that it exists a marriage nearly perfect between a powerful building and exceptional archives, in this case that we are talking about. Along the time, since 1785, the building has been adapted to, to prosecute the better custody and preservation of a unique documentary heritage and to preserve the public, the thousands of research every year from many several countries, and of course, to attend the visitors that want to enjoy it with the building that with and with the several exhibitions that are hosted in Archivo General de Indias, about 17,000 a month. And of course, I invite all of you to come uh, and to visit us. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much.